Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on a Samsung washer with a 4C error code. First thing we want to do is pull up any stored error codes. So press the power button, then you're going to press the delay in button to 17 hours. Once you get to 17, you're going to press and hold the start button down until AS appears. Once the AS appears, you're then going to hold the self-clean or press the self-clean and the CR will appear. Then press the soil level to activate the air code. As you can see, we see the 4C, which means water supply check. Press once again to get the next air code. UB, unbalance. Press again. And as you can see, we have no more stored error codes for this unit. So now let's just start to cycle in regular test mode. So as we can see, the water is not coming into the tub, it's just sensing. So that kind of makes sense with the error code we got earlier, the 4C error code, which basically stands for material is not allowing water to enter the tub. In this case, the valve is vibrating, but water is not entering. So I'm pretty sure it's clogged. So what you want to do is obviously turn the water off and remove the hose from the water in the valve. So in this case, on this washer, there was some type of orange material that was not allowing the water to enter the tub. In that case, it will show the 4C error code. So in this one, you can actually pull the screen out. And as you can see, it's pretty clogged up. So this uh, range the filter out and reinstall. And just hand tighten the hose back onto the inlet valve. If you do place this valve on, say, sideways, you can mess up the valve. So hand tighten the valve, and once you get it hand tightened, then you can take the pliers to tighten down. And at the beginning of the video, we did show you how to put the machine to pull up all the diagnostic codes. I will leave that in the descriptions below just in case you do get a different code and you'll know what it stands for. Okay, let's turn the water back on, check for leaks, make sure you don't have no leaks. Now let's uh, put this thing in automatic diagnostic test mode. I guess first we'll see if the water comes in, wish it. Okay, there we go. Now we will put it into diagnostic mode. So go to 17 hours, delay. Press and hold the start button until AS appears. And in this case, just press start once more. And then this will automatically go through all the cycles. CO means cold water. So in this case, if you did activate the cold water and you were not getting water into the tub, I would check the water in the valve or check for clocks. 
and the next one is HO which stands for hot water same thing if you're not getting hot water into the tub obviously check the valve or check check for some type of material blockage six is a test for the operations for the water shot valve the washer heater and the operation for rinsing so test seven will activate the drain pump cycle so say if you have a tub full of water and you activate the diagnostic mode but yet the water does not drain but yet you hear the drain trying to activate or hum that indicates you either either have a bad pump or you have a clogged pump okay test mode a this test will carry out the operation for dehydration and then the machine will activate the spin mode Okay, great. I hope this video was helpful. I will leave in description below all error codes just in case you get a different code. And please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Thank you for watching.